And we're back. Finally today in New Ephira, First Minister Jin commemorated the 25th anniversary of the end of the Locust War. Today, we are humbled by the presence of two generations of men and women who braved every danger, who fought the battles that made us what we are, including the most pivotal encounter of the Pendulum Wars, Ashbo Fields. Santiago! I'll spare you the inspirational speech, Private. You know what to do. Yes, sir. All right, let's do this! We take down those towers, cripple their communications, then raid the lab. Command wants the Hammer of Dawn, Command gets the Hammer of Dawn. All right, let's move! Moving gears! We're only gonna get one shot to extract those plans. Once we take down the comm towers, this entire base is cut off. Yes, sir. We got Indies! Up top! Take them out! Get in the cover! Nice shot!
You two, you have the security codes. Override that gate. Come on, man. And with that, this raid is officially underway. Let's go. All right, you know the drill. Eliminate the guards, get inside the lab, grab the plants. Then we ghost. So what does this hammer of dawn thing do? It wins the war. And if we do our job right, every system here is wiped. And the indie scientists get an offer they can't refuse. All right, we're in. Let's go. I can go. Move it, go. Lab's up ahead. Oh, Take him oh. out. These indie scientists aren't too eager to meet us. Bruce! Be a deer and rip this door! Gears, listen up. If we're not out in ten minutes, abort mission and get the hell out of here. Okay, Santiago, time to meet our new friends. Right behind you, Major. Indy's on the left! Keep him away from the left! 
secure. Cleaner, proceed to the beach for Marlin extract. You hear that? Mortars! Oh, we got mortars incoming! Then I suggest you run, Major. To the beach! Go, go, go! Run, get out of here! Go stop! plans for the Hammer of Dawn, we ensured our survival in the worst conflict our world had yet known. But only two years later, a new horror, a new enemy, a new war. Uh, control, be advised, divert the Colonel's convoy. Sorry, Corporal, we're almost there. Negative, negative control. The House of Sovereigns is a red zone. Corporal Kim, this whole city's a red zone. Understood, control. Come on, Gears. Colonel Hoffman's convoy is gonna need protection. Corporal, we're coming in hot. Almost there, control. Oh, shit. That's the convoy. Look out, look out. More of those goddamn things. Kim, sir. Lieutenant Stroud and I need an escort. Congratulations, you're it. Uh, Colonel, we need to get inside. Now. I've got the code for the door, Colonel. Well, good for you, son. Hold these stairs with that hammer. I'll be back when I can. Oh, man, this is bad. All right, you heard the corporal. Don't let him inside. They're coming right at us. Use the hammer. Oh shit! Look out! Push them back! Push them back! We need some goddamn reinforcements. Not gonna happen. Keep fighting. Got him. This is insane. Do not let them near the door. Fire in the hole! 
go. Hundreds of thousands were dead. Emergence Day had earned its name. Like many of you, I was only a child then. It was a dark, terrible time. And our victory was in no way assured. We need everyone on that wall, now! Get that soldier back on his feet. You're good. All right, Gears, get up that ladder. Boy, come happened? on up. Where the hell am I? Uh, uh. I gave you a goddamn order. Get on that wall.
But against all odds, a brave group of soldiers led by Marcus Phoenix finally ended our locust nightmare. He did it. How dearly I wish Sergeant Phoenix could be with us here today. Stop and think about the men and women whose sacrifices guaranteed our survival. Thanks to them, we fought through the long twilight. We built a new prosperity. The world the new cog has ensured knows no war, no suffering. It's a world of safety, of family, a world finally at peace. You coming? Just give me a sec. For a butterfly? Yeah, look. You know how this little guy starts out? Trying to stay alive. <laughs> True. But if it survives, and most don't, it finds a way to change. The little larva becomes a chrysalis. Inside, it destroys and rebuilds itself, changing its color, its shape. It gets wings, claws. It slashes its way out of its cage, and then... And then it's new and beautiful. You shouldn't have come. Save your breath, JD. That one? <laughs> She's a mother's daughter. She really is. I really am. We used to protect cock settlements. Now we're about to raid one. Is that ironic? Technically, no. <laughs> Raiding is what outsiders do. Until you two showed up. Now, pff, boring. Better bored than dead, old man. There's a difference. Huh, no alarm. Thank you very much. Yeah, we're not gonna be bored. Dead, on the other hand. That's not the security alarm. Oh shit, wind flare! We can take cover inside the settlement. To the wagon, all of you! Go! Not immediately dead! 
don't need you, right? Raina told Dell and me to do this, not you. Sorry, smart guy. Where she goes, I go. I don't need a babysitter, Uncle. Then call me a chaperone. How about I call you hungover? <laughs> oh, you got some chuff, boy, don't you? Uncle, you're obviously hungover. Actually, I'm still a little drunk. Settlements are built from the inside out, which means the fabricators in the construction hub at the center of town. We grab it, we leave. You can count on a lot of security DBs in there. There hasn't been an outsider raid in six months. We'll have the element of surprise. You can't surprise a robot, my guy. We used to command DBs, remember? Oh yeah, like a settlement too. Hey, that wasn't their fault. You got bigger problems than stubbornness, young one. Okay, there's the construction hub. Just gotta figure out a way to get there. Well, our only way in is down. Let's go. 